I'm going to sing a little lullaby that I wrote for my son, Luca, who is six. I have a little girl, Emmy, who is two and a half. And um, I am 44 and a half. I did not expect to be such a geriatric parent. But it's keeping me very active. Um, but um, the reason I have kids so late, or had kids so late, one was because I played music for a long time, but I got married at, at 35, and actually when I was on tour here in Florida, I had a crazy health crisis that I nearly died from. And a doctor at Tampa General Hospital saved my life. Thank you, Dr. Davis. Um, but once I recovered, I was here for a, about a week in Florida recovering, and he was like, well, the good news is you're alive. The bad news is the chances of you having a child um, are small at best, and I'd only been married four months at that time. Um, but I went to a million doctors and got a lot of second and third and fourth opinions, and finally was told that the only way that I would have a child is if I did in vitro fertilization, which um, I did not have insurance for, even though I lived in Chicago where they actually do usually pay for it, but only if you have a real job. And um, so I went to a support group in Chicago to kind of, when I was living there, to kind of process that information. and. A woman in the group, uh, who, who the woman who ran the group was like, I know that you don't have insurance for this. They are actually giving away an in vitro cycle, which is $16,000, at a raffle this weekend in like Glenview, Illinois. And I was like, that is weird. <laughs> like you're literally going to try to win a baby at a raffle. But I was like, it's better than putting it on my MasterCard, so I'm in. But then I couldn't go, because I was touring that weekend, so I sent my, my husband. And um, it was a fertility conference, and I think it was like 99.97% women. And then like my very tall husband, creepily lurking around by himself. And um, my husband's very strategic, and he noticed that the woman who was doing the raffle had very long curated fingernails. Um, like the kind with like appliques on them and stuff. And he was like, she's not going to want to dig down deep in the raffle barrel. Right? Because it might mess up her manicure. So, very, I mean, never would I think of that. Or if I, w if I did think of it, I'd be like, that's not right. And Matt was like, um, oh yeah, it's right. Absolutely, it's right. So he waited till the 11th hour and he bought our tickets at the last minute, and then he went to hand them to her for her to put them in the thing. She's like, oh no, you can put them in yourself. So he lightly sprinkled them over the top of the raffle basket, and we won, and we won a baby at the raffle. <laughs> Isn't that cool? So even, of course, when you do in vitro, it doesn't mean you're gonna have a baby at the end of it. You're just sort of winning the chance of a baby. But that was the first time that I felt super hopeful, and, uh, and that became Luca. So anyway, I wrote this song for him. This is on my Lullabies album. This is called These Things. The weight of you inside my arms Your heavy head across my heart Your tiny fingers Pointing at the stars I never thought I'd have these things That fuzzy spot And your silky hair When I rock you slowly In your favorite chair I rarely ever sleep these days and I don't even care Never thought I'd have these things oh, 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 oh. Your love affair with that ceiling fan When you ate that whole fistful of sand I was never patient, but I 
Thank you.